everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video on my favorite drugstore lip products for spring and summer. I like to do these videos twice a year. I do spring and summer and then fall and winter, and I like to do drugstore lip products because I talk about drugstore and high-end, but I think that lip products from the drugstore are just really great, and I love so many of them, so I decided to come up with some and share them with you guys. So I do have a bunch of drugstore lip product options, and then at the end I'll share some of my favorite color pop options because they're not found at the drugstore, but they are still drugstore prices. So I have a lot of really bright, fun colors to share with you, but I do have two nude shades that I think are really, really gorgeous. They're kind of more on the pink side, but I think if you are not a bright lipstick lover, these are just a great option for spring and summer. So the first one is the Rimmel The Only One Lipstick in the shade Naughty Nude. This is a new lipstick line. I did a review on it, so I'll link it in the description box below if you want to check it out, but I love the formula of this one. I think that they're all really great, but I think that in particular, this one is my favorite. It just goes on so nicely. It's super pigmented, hydrating, moisturizing. It really glides on the lips really nicely. And this color is so beautiful. I feel like it goes with any makeup look. So if you have a really natural eye look or if you have a smoky eye, this is really going to complement it. Another good option is the NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Root Beer Float. I've been talking about this for months and I honestly just can't get enough of it. But I feel like this would be so beautiful for spring and summer. It's a little bit lighter than the one that I just shared with you. And I think it's just the most perfect perfect formula. This formula is so hard to explain because it's really smooth and creamy. It's super lightweight and it's really pigmented and I honestly love it so much. I honestly didn't want to try these for the longest time because I didn't think I was going to like the formula, but the more that I wear them, the more that I love them and this one is just a really good option as well. So moving on to more of like a coral shade, I would definitely recommend the e.l.f. lipstick. This is their moisturizing lipstick in the shade Pink Minx. I hope that this is still on the website because they tend to kind of switch up their inventory a lot but this is a really beautiful bright coral and I don't know I'm kind of always on the fence about like coral or orange lipsticks but lately I've been loving them a lot and I think that this color is really pigmented again it's super hydrating super moisturizing I'm kind of moving away from that super drying matte look to something a little bit more lightweight on the lips and I love this color I think it's a great option and I think it would look beautiful with summer makeup next I do have another one of the Rimmel the only one lipsticks this one is in the shade peach Keen and it's so funny because I really was never a fan of like these peachy coral colors but lately I cannot get enough of them see how pigmented this color is it is so so beautiful I feel like it would be flattering on so many different people and it's really great if you want a bright lip color but you want something a little bit different than your typical like bright pink or bright red I think that this lipstick is just a good option the next one is a NYX butter lipstick again this one is in the shade little Susie and this one is perfect if you are a fan of those really bright fun lips for spring and summer but you just want a really easy to wear lipstick I love the formula I love how it's moisturizing it's pigmented it's hydrating and this color in particular is just so gorgeous it has some really pretty warm undertones to it and I think it just screams spring lipstick so I would definitely recommend this one I would have to say that this lipstick is probably one of my all-time favorite lipsticks for the summertime and it is the NYX matte lipstick in the shade shocking pink it's really different than the other pinks that I've been sharing with you it's definitely a cool toned or a blue toned fuchsia. I am obsessed with this. I wear it so often during the summertime and I think it's really fun if you want a really bright lip color. I like to wear it with really a minimal eyeshadow, really minimal eyeliner, just mascara and this really bright lip and I think that it is so so beautiful. If you haven't tried these matte lipsticks yet, they will change your mind about matte lipsticks. They are not drying, they are super moisturizing, they're so creamy and smooth and I was so surprised the first time that I wore one because in my mind a matte lipstick is super drying and really uncomfortable but these are just the complete opposite but I absolutely love them and the matte they do have a matte finish to them so I definitely recommend checking them out. The next lipstick is the CoverGirl Oh Sugar lipstick in the shade Sprinkle. I absolutely love this. I've only tried two of these Oh Sugar lipsticks and I love them. They're actually I don't know if they're lipsticks or lip balms. It says that it is a vitamin infused balm but I love it because it feels like a lip balm but it looks like a lipstick when it's on the lips. This is just a great option if you are a fan of sheer lips. And I always thought that I wasn't really like a sheer lipstick fan. I thought if I was going to wear a lipstick, I wanted it to have like super full coverage or be super pigmented. But I am a fan of these sheer lip colors. Another great sheer option would be the e.l.f. Lip Kiss Balm in the shade XO Red. Some of these have really chunky glitter in them, which I'm not a big fan of, but this one does not. It's just the perfect sheer 
red lip color and I love red lipstick it's my favorite thing in the entire world but this one's really fun because it is sheer it's still pigmented so you get good color payoff but it almost makes it look like you just a like a popsicle or something and that your lips are stained and I think that's super fun for the summertime so I definitely recommend it I really like these lip balms I actually have this one and the nude one in my car at all times because they're easy to wear and they wear off really evenly they're just a really fun option so I have a few ColourPop lip products I wanted to share with you I know not everyone can get these and they're not available at drugstores so I wanted to include them at the end so if you guys have not tried the ColourPop ultra satin lips yet I think that you should definitely check them out I know that some people are not a fan of the ultra matte lips because they are super drying on the lips they last forever which I love but I can definitely understand where people are coming from where they don't want their lips to feel like that the ultra satin lips are going to be your new best friend because they give you longevity but they're a lot more comfortable on the lips and they have a little bit of a sheen to them and I think that they are just like the perfect lip color so my favorites would be echo wand which I've talked about in the past but this is just the perfect everyday nude shade I love this because it is a warmer nude and I think it would be so pretty for the summertime and I think that a lot of you guys have tried this and told me that it is your new favorite lip color so I would definitely recommend picking this one out I think that it is just like the perfect everyday go-to color my next favorite is really a surprise to me because I have been telling you guys how I hate orange lipsticks but I tried this one from their new spring summer collection and I am obsessed with it it is so beautiful this one is in the shade botanical and it is just the prettiest orange lipstick which surprised me so much I feel like when I saw this I was like I am never going to wear that when I put it on my lips I was like I'm obsessed with this and I'm never going to take it off it is so beautiful and I feel like if you have a medium to olive to dark skin tone this would be so stunning on you I have a, a lighter skin tone and I still like it but I feel like if you have a darker skin tone it would just look absolutely gorgeous and it's a really fun color for spring and summer and I can't get enough of it my last two favorites are ultra matte lipsticks but I've been wearing these since they came out last summer and they're just like my go-to bright lipstick colors so the first one is in the shade highball I wear this one all the time I feel like I always wear it when I do like an ipsy unboxing because it kind of reminds me or ipsy unbagging because it reminds me of the mailers that they come in but it is the most pigmented beautiful bright hot pink color and it is so gorgeous I really like wearing bright colors in this formula because they stay in place they don't get on your teeth they don't smear around so I think they're a great option my other favorite is in the shade succulent and it is so beautiful this is probably my favorite lip color of all time because I love red lips and this one is so bright and bold and beautiful so that is what succulent looks like it's so gorgeous I honestly cannot get enough of it so those are my favorite lip colors for spring and summer this year don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know about yours because I love hearing from you you give the best suggestions and I honestly have like a giant list on my phone right now from your suggestions so don't forget to let me know thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.